Mozemoy had foreseen devolution, and therefore the current setup, or, uh, I mean, devolved system of government, we can aptly say that he's a father of devolution. So we are actually the products of uh, the Rit Moy. Again, even in terms of uh, the current Kenya, in terms of our development programs, we fight every project picking from actually where Moy left. If you look at agriculture and our big four, allowed agriculture as a, as a big four item, Moy was very passionate about tree planting from an environmental conservation point of view. He was very passionate about soil conservation. You could see him literally constructing gabions. He was very passionate about extension services. Some of the things which we are struggling with today, actually Moy was championing those days. If you look at health, Moy had the Nyayo Wards program. Kumbuka mze Moy, manake wakati nikiwa uh, shuleni, nikiwa primary, nikiwa secondary, hata naingia chuo kikuu, ilikuwa bado uh, mze Moy ndiye rais. Kwa hivyo kuna mengi ambayo na kumbuka ususa ntukiwa katika uh, shule ya primary, nyote moja wazi kwa masote tulikunya maziwa ya nyayo. Uh, naona dadangu hapa na... Uh, uh, anataba samu bila shaka sote tulikunya maziwa ya nyayo ni kitu ambacho hakuna mtoto wakati ule ambaye anaweza kusahau yale yote alifanya na mzee pia alijenga mashule mengi ni mtu ambaye alipeana kipao mbele mambo ya elimu at the time he came into power there were so many illicit brews in, in uh, which 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 had formerly been registered and uh, apparently uh, because of that, there was a lot of responsibility at the time he was coming into power and by banning those uh, illicit brews, uh, Kenyans had the opportunity to, to go to work in farms and various sectors. 